it's Mari here from First Updates Now, and on this episode of Behind the Bumpers, we're going to be interviewing Team 3310 Blackhawk Robotics. Currently, they are in the Hopper Division at Worlds, and we're going to be discussing their floor and take with raised bumpers, their base uh, pivot on their shooter, as well as their trap and amp mechanism. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So we're going to be starting off with Kira and their floor intake. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? So our floor intake is throughout the whole width of the robot and we have a dual intake from both sides and this is the front of the robot and we intake and to go into the shooter it slightly goes into the amp mechanism and goes straight into the shooter and to intake from the front they're on corresponding belts and rollers that just do the same thing in reverse that is very interesting can you tell us a bit about how the note goes from the intake into the shooter so we we have multi, we have 13 rollers on this robot and most of them are for the intake up from the ground. It goes into the robot through here and when we're intaking this shooter is at around this height and angle so it'll be like a passive linear line. We basically use the shooter quite a bit for our time. We have it set at different presets with the April tags. With our iterations we tested a lot of different RPMs and different um, materials for the wheels and it took a, a lot of trial and error to get a nice functioning shooter but it works now. In terms of trial and error what kind of things did you guys I guess scrap at the beginning of your build process? We originally had the idea of wrapping silicon against Paulson wheels for more grip but that didn't end up working out and it was extremely difficult to get the silicone onto the Colson wheel. So we just completely scrapped that and used Colson wheels with a bigger radius. I like that, I like that. I'm kind of interested in your, your guys' trap and amp. Uh, it's a dual function, which pretty good. Saves, saves space, saves time. Tell us a bit about it. Okay, um, so our trap and amp mechanism is on a elevator right here in the front of our robot. So um, it comes up through the same intake that we use for the shooter and it's just pushed through some different rollers up into this part and it's pushed off of this roller over here, um, this roller, and then it comes up through here and pops out of this space here. So. Whenever we're scoring in the amp, this entire elevator here comes up about halfway so that we can score into the amp. And then whenever we are going to score into the trap, we climb and then these wheels here hit against the stage um, and we score into the trap. Um, so that's amp height. And that's trap height. Um, so our elevator is on a push-pull system, so whenever it's coming up, one of, we have two sets of strings here, this, um, all of the pulleys, one set pulls it up, and then on the way down, the other set of string um, pulls it down. So at least one string always has complete tension on it, um, in the middle, it all, both of them have complete tension. Um, and it's all just on this one barrel, one motor. I like it, I like it. Oh, we also have um, transfer abilities between our trap amp mechanism and to our shooter. Um, so that's helpful if we change our mind on what we're wanting to score. And then we can also eject the note um, and then transfer back into the amp trap also. I like that, I like that. 
when shooting, how do you guys decide how it's gonna, um, where it's gonna sit, the shooter, how it's gonna... So on my controller, we have two buttons that are preset. One that's right against the subwoofer, and that's just an emergency case situation. And we have one that's on the podium as well. Um, but we use limelights and we, to scan the April tags. And depending on like what the, it sees in the distance, we have offsets. Um, we, we designed our shooter to be at a, like the lowest um, level possible so that we can be able to shoot from far distances like the midline. That is super impressive. And I am very pleased to see how far you guys have gone throughout, the, throughout this competition and the first in Texas district. Once again, this has been Team 3310 in the Hopper Division. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.